Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a hot topic for creators, VTubers, and anyone who loves face tracking tech. Which iPhone generation has the best front camera for face tracking? Whether you're into streaming, using avatars, or just want the best selfies, we're gonna break down the top contenders. Spoiler alert, it's a close race. Let's start with the earliest model that introduced advanced face tracking features. The iPhone X was the first to bring Face ID and True Depth technology to the table, which opened the door to smoother face tracking. This model is the entry point for advanced face tracking using an iPhone. If you're on a budget, this is a great option, as it does have the dot matrix that is required for Face ID to work. But if you're looking for something a little bit higher tech, let's take a look at the 11th, 12th, and 13th generations, which had an upgrade to their camera. These models stepped it up a notch by bringing in a higher megapixel sensor and changing to a wide-angled lens. These upgrades make face tracking smoother, especially in low-light or fast-paced environments. The increase in pixel count these devices should handle subtle expressions a little bit better, giving you more control of your model. It's also equipped with a gyro EIS, which is a type of image stabilization that could be helpful in case you bump your desk or some have some other type of vibration disturbance happen to the phone while you're streaming. One area of concern here is iOS updates. Uh, the iPhone X, the 10, is past its prime. It's not going to get any new iOS updates. However, Apple's known for a long product cycle and that allows the consumer flexibility in how they want to upgrade and when they want to upgrade. If you're going to have the phone connected to internet, it is possibly worthwhile to get one that's a little bit more recent so you have more iOS updates that'll keep your phone safe. But if you are going to just connect it through USB, this might not be super necessary. As it stands today that I'm releasing the video, the iPhone 11 is gonna be phased out within the next one to two years, while the 12 and 13 will probably have a little bit longer lifespan. But is this generation the best for everyone? Let's keep going to the 14 through the 16th generations. With the introduction of the iPhone 14, Apple's front cameras evolved again, adding phase detection autofocus to the onboard technology, as well as a larger f-stop. Both of these upgrades are gonna be fantastic for those of you who are making a lot of extremely quick movements on both the X and Y plane and the Z. The face detection autofocus should keep the tracking more accurate in moments of high movement along the X and Y axis, while the larger f-stop will help keep the camera in focus if you're moving closer and further away in the Z plane. But the big question is, is if that's all really worthwhile for the average use case of a VTuber. And in the end, choosing the best iPhone for face tracking really depends on what you're using it for. If you're just starting out, current listing price for the iPhone 10 is really competitively priced towards a 4K webcam. And while you wouldn't be getting the 4K resolution that that webcam offers, you would be getting the dot matrix that allows for better face tracking. But for everyone else, I really highly recommend choosing a model within the 11 through 13 generations. These models are a definite step up to the X in a lot of ways. I'd place the price to performance of these models highest out of all the phones we've covered. Now, the price point could be a little bit better, but uh, you know that you're going to not have to upgrade it for a couple of years, and this is a really solid option for most people. If you're looking for a dual purpose, like a, you know, if you're going to use it as a phone and you're gonna use it as a webcam, Definitely, I'd recommend getting a newer model. Tech upgrades here are not the biggest wow factor, but you'll have additional security knowing that your phone will continue to receive iOS updates and it'll probably be able to handle just about anything you throw at it. But which model is the best? For me, and likely for you too, that model is the iPhone 11. This model is very competitively priced right now. It has the best price to performance ratio and is still currently supported in iOS updates and will be for the foreseeable future. And likely a lot of other people are not gonna be using this as their phone. So once it does expire in the iOS updates life cycle, it won't be a huge problem. It'll probably continue to be just fine for a long time afterwards. And that's it for today's breakdown. Let me know in the comments below what iPhone you use for face tracking, or if you're thinking of upgrading, or even if I got something wrong. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you found the video helpful. Until next time, keep creating.